Hey everyone, we're about three hours until the Democratic presidential hopefuls take the stage tonight on MSNBC in Atlanta, Georgia. And I just wanted to pop in and talk to you a little bit about what I'll be looking for, kind of get your thoughts and see what you're gonna be looking out for. Now it's 10 people and it's only two hours. So there's only so many things that can happen and there's actually not gonna be any opening statements tonight from the candidates. And I don't know about you, but I am thankful because we all know who they are. We all know what they're trying to run for. and. Let's just get to the crux of the issue and let's talk about the issues that we care about, climate change, healthcare, foreign policy, and of course, I'm sure the elephant in the room will be the topic of impeachment. You know, I just read a poll by the New York Times and they did a matchup of President Trump against some of the top Democrat contenders and in a matchup between Trump and Sanders, Trump wins re-election. In a matchup between Trump and Biden, Biden wins. In a matchup between Trump and Warren, Warren loses. So right now we see that Joe Biden is the only contender in a matchup by the top three frontrunners that could actually beat Donald Trump in a re-election effort of 2020. And I think that's going to be really important. You know, every debate, now I've been saying this for the past four debates, that Joe Biden has to have a strong showing. I'm telling you that if somebody wants to sponsor his campaign and send him an unlimited supply of Red Bull or Bang Energy or Monster, please do because the man really needs to wake up and be prepared to show that he can be presidential material in 2020. You know, the one person that I will be paying a lot of attention to is actually Mayor Pete Buttigieg. He's been leading in Iowa, and Iowa, as you know, is right around the corner. It is coming in hot on February. Iowa caucuses will take off, and right now we see that Mayor Pete Buttigieg has a really strong lead. And I think that he could be a potential target for some of the other contenders on the stage. You will have 10 candidates on the stage this evening over the span of two hours, and it will be moderated by an all-female panel. I don't know about you, but I'm really excited for all the girl power that's going to be harnessing the entire, the whole debate. I mean, guys, this is, this is really exciting stuff. And I'm curious to know who are you going to be paying attention to? Is Kamala Harris going to try and drag Joe Biden out into a gotcha moment? Are Cory Booker going to try and drag down Warren and Sanders? Because remember, Biden is meant to be the moderate candidate that the Democrats have right now on the stage. Warren and Sanders are gonna be a bit more to the left, right, of Joe Biden, and they're gonna be pushing their Medicare for all plans. They're gonna be talking about the importance of access to healthcare for everybody. And Joe Biden is gonna to have to be that strong stride, calm tempered voice. When in the past four debates, really what we've seen, we've seen him flounder. We've seen him almost fall asleep. And Mayor Pete Buttigieg has gone in to fill that gap. And tonight will really be an opportunity if Mayor Pete Buttigieg can come up through the ranks and actually push Biden to the side and win in terms of jockeying position in the polls, because right now it's Biden, Warren and Sanders, and it's an uphill battle for the other contenders on that stage tonight. So it'll be really interesting to see. I'm curious to know what you'll be paying attention to. And just for fun, I will be keeping note of how many times Andrew Yang offers everyone in America $1,000 that will solve all of our problems. So drop your comments below and follow me on Twitter. I'll be live tweeting. It's at Mariana Mancuso, and I'll check back in later tonight with another wrap-up video. But thanks again, guys, and I can't wait to talk to you more about the debate after it's happened. And we've all survived two hours of MSNBC and their debate programming. Thanks so much. Bye, guys.